everyone, Magic Flying Potato here, and I'm going to show you how to fight the Sickly Roly Poly using only Tier 2 gear. I will be using one Tier 3 item, which is a hat only, but other than that, all my other equipment is Tier 2, no special buffs. I will be only equipping uh, four mutations. I'm going to show you an all-out attack with an ant club, two-handed ant club. I'm going to show you a defensive style, shield, hammer, and then I'm going to show you the safest way, which is using the crossbow. And uh, let me show you where this is at and why I'm choosing this location. So this is at the corner of the trash pile. Let's go ahead and look at the map real quick. So if you're if you're on the map, here is the mysterious machine. If you come down to this corner, there is a roly poly here. There are two others. There's one here and there is one in the picnic bench area as of the hot and hazy update. The reason why I have chose this one is because of the openness of this location. My suggestion is to save your game right before you enter this fight and this way you can go back and practice fighting him and watching the way they move and the way they set up for their attacks the reason again because it's so open over here you can see what's going on you won't get caught up on grass like in the other areas or get uh, attacked by other other uh insects that are in the area so i'm going to go ahead and show you my gear loadout for this first attack that i'm going to do I am using the Red Ant Club. Again, it is a level 5 Red Ant Club. It isn't anything higher or more special. Uh, I'm using all Koi armor because that gives me the best, best chance to block attacks. My go-to armor. The type of armor you use is, is, is totally up to you. This is early game armor, so it's very easy to get. That's why I'm using it and, and using it as a example for this video again nothing no no special uh, smoothies or food my status i am using my barbarian my parry master which is for blocking the meat shield which you can get at burgle and the coup de grace which is relatively easy all again easy early game type mutations that you can get i'm going to start off with a heavy attack so there is a difference between a heavy attack and a quick attack heavy attack is you hold your button down as you see he's my character is uh, not attacking quickly, which hits heavier. As you can see right here, he is healing. So this is your chance to heal, regain stamina. And as soon as he comes out, hit him again. And that was a heavy attack followed up by two quick attacks. Just watching his uh, what he is doing. Back again, heavy attack, and two quick attacks. And that's how easy it is with the this setup right here. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go to the defensive setup. Okay, so right here, I just reloaded the game. I equipped my tier 2 insect hammer, a weevil shield, and I changed my mutation. So let's go ahead and take a quick look at it. Uh, the mutation I went to is the smasher, which is the mutation for fighting with the hammer. And again, the Weevil Shield adds to blocking strength, so you'll be able to block better with the Weevil Shield. Well, let's go ahead and do this. This attack will take longer because the Insect Hammer does not hit as hard. Again, he's healing, so hitting him while he's healing does absolutely no damage. As soon as he comes out, go ahead and start hitting him again. Watch his sweep attack that he does right there. Here it comes. And there you have it. That is the fighting with... That's my defense fighting style. Uh, Weevil shield with hammer. Still very effective. In my opinion, I like it because it blocks better. Uh, if you're not good with the blocking timing, using the shield helps out. It, it adds that extra buffer in there for uh, blocking his attacks. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to go over to the next build. Okay, for this third attack, again, this is the safest attack. I equip my crossbow. I put on the archer hat and I put on my archer mutation. So let's go ahead and take a look right here. The sharpshooter mutation, which gives bonus damage with the arrows. And uh, as you can see, the, uh, the marksman's cap right here gives you extra bow attack. 
So that is what I'm going to use while attacking him. But before I attack him, I am going to come over here to an area where he can't get to. And you can get up on these soda cans or you can get up on the hose right here if you would like. Just as long as you're up high when you do your attacks and he cannot get to you. I'm going to go first person mode for this because I can't shoot in third person mode. And once he's clear of that grass, I'm going to go ahead and engage him. I got 92 arrows, so we'll see how many arrows it takes to uh, take him down. Missed that shot. And there you go. That is the easiest and safest way to attack the roly polies um, is with a, with a bow from a distance up on an object that they cannot get you at. Everybody has their own way of fighting. Uh, this is by no means the telling you this is the way to do it, but this is my way of doing it. And uh, let me know in the comments below what's your style of fighting the the uh, sickly roly poly got little legs yeah a little leg uh squirming around right there and he still has a little fight left in him and it, and, it, and you saw it, i didn't even use many arrows so again in the comments uh go ahead and leave a question or comment below if you have any about this and again leave the the way you take these uh the roly polies on down in the comments are you using the tier three gear or are you still using tier two if you haven't reached that point uh so once again you guys have a great time out here exploring the backyard i am magic flying potato and i am out